What's up guys, Sam Wild here, super excited because I've just got myself a new capo, G7 Performance 2 capo, but I have this sort of Celtic gold style. So I just want to share this with you and show you what it looks like, okay? Now I've been using G7 capos for a couple of years now, all right? Um, I know the owner of the company, extremely nice guy, and the capos have been incredibly reliable for me, all right? So it comes in a nice case. Free lifetime warranty, I love that about them. So if they do break, if something goes wrong, then you get another one sent to you, right? So if you have a look, you have this amazing, nice sort of Celtic pattern on the side, as well as the top, right? And then obviously it says G7th on the twister. Now, this capo essentially locks in place, okay? So once it's on, it's not coming off which is the cool thing about it, it's sort of a locking mechanism. And then all you have to do to release it is push this black bit in. You see that? So the further it goes in, the more it locks around the guitar. And then you can just clip it off, all right? Now, one of the reasons I love these performance capos is because they are useful when you're performing. Uh, because you can change position super fast. So let's say I was on fret one, you just unclip, you can do it with one hand, move it along, grip with one hand. You don't even need the other hand, right? It's so fast and it means that no one else has to wait around for you when you're trying to faff around with the capo and change position. Where when I used to use a screw on capo, it was sort of screwed into a fixed tension and then sometimes you'd move it up the neck and it would be too tight and you'd have to adjust it. It was very annoying. Whereas this just goes as tight as you need it for each position. You can just do it with one hand, you know? It's so easy. Now, I also want to talk about what you should practice next, right? If you're a little bit stuck with your playing and you don't know what to do next, my advice is work on something that's fun and something that you can just get lost in thought with and the time passes by because you just get into this nice flow, okay? Now, for me, the thing that does that for me is trying to improvise. So trying to just, you put on like a backing track and you try and improvise and make up just solos, melodies, lick ideas. You just sit there and just with the track on and you just try and come up with ideas. Um, and this is so fun. The problem is if you don't know how to make music out, out of your guitar, if you don't know how to make melodies, then you quickly get stuck. You know, you don't know which notes you can play. Um, some of you might have already learned how to map out the fretboard, okay? Even then, you might find it a little bit boring because you don't really have any ideas, okay? So, this is why I would strongly suggest signing up to my website and joining my premium membership. So I teach you how to do all these things. All right? I show you how to play different uh, melodic ideas on the guitar and I show you how to map out the fretboard. And this means that you can come up with stuff on the spot. Right, so you could put on a backing track and you can just sit there and you can play for hours just coming up with ideas because you know how to do it, right? So that's usually the next step you take. If you've, if you've got used to the basic chords, basic rhythms, you know, you can play along to songs. Maybe you watch lots of my YouTube videos and you can learn the songs quite quickly now, right? But you're thinking, okay, this is getting a bit easier now. I want to do something else then my website is going to be the best place to go, in my opinion, just because I've laid it out in this nice order, right? So it takes you from that beginner stage where you know a little bit, you know some chords, you know some rhythm, and then I show you more advanced chords. I show you more advanced rhythms, right? I show you how to move them around the neck. I teach you some theory, some music theory, just so you understand how chord progressions are even made in the first place, right? And then you make your own chord progressions. I show you how uh, scales are made and the, the scale shapes you can use. And it just means you have way more freedom, you have all this new uh, content to learn and practice and it's fun, right? We do everything to backing tracks and real music so you can actually enjoy it, right? So, hit the link below in the description and check out the course, all right? I've got a page there that explains everything. If you still have questions after you look at this page, then just contact me, just email me. Email me at guitarlegendvideos at outlook.com, all right? With any questions you have about the course, is it right for you? You know, uh, maybe you need some direction, maybe you're unsure about 
your path as a guitarist, what should you be doing, what you want to do, just send me an email and ask any questions, all right? I will happily reply, usually within a few days, okay? I'm quite fast for replying. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.